You get a sitter, OK? Layla and Pete are there. He's dead sweet. Not like Pierce, then. Right, look, and I'm sober now, by the way. That makes two of us. I made some pretty cheap jibes. There's something you need to know. He came round to see me this afternoon. He told me. Of course he told me. He feels awful. This was his idea. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry to spring this on you. But, uh, if any consolation, we're both in the bad box. I told him to check my phone because I thought it was Pearl. And I was out running and I was passing your house and I thought, do you know what, I think I can make this better. And hands up, I failed. But it's OK. Um, I know you don't like me that much and I hope it'll change. And um, it's fine, so long as you and her are OK. You weren't anywhere near as nice as this at mine. I'd just been on a ten-mile run and I'm never going to get a job in a diplomatic corps. Agreed. <laughs> oh, Vanessa, you've got your little conspiracy theory face on and there really isn't one. We're not going to do this in the village if it's going to be weird. If it comes to it, we'll go away to get married. Yeah. Because of me? You're my best friend. I hate falling out with you. What's the point if you're not going to be right by her side? Sticking your oar in with your rubbish... Sorry. Brilliant ideas. <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, maid of honour, best woman, you call yourself what you like. As soon as he said it, I thought, that is a great idea. I'll have a lemonade if you're offering. Great. We're on. Oh, come here, you. <laughs> I'm so glad we're OK. I mean, we are OK, aren't we? Oh, we fall out, then we're always all right. That is just what he said. Bye, BF. Bye, BFF. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah. Wine? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> See why you two are such good friends. So I'm not really that bothered about having another drink. Yeah, but you're a bottle ahead. Go on, I'll uh, hug and grab something. See you in a bit. Okay. Hope you're serious about turning the line. Interesting statement. All the little ladies put in their place. You threatened me in my home. I knew you were lying in the pub. She didn't. The maid of honour thing is a great idea, Pierce. Six whole weeks to convince her you're not even worth looking at. Never mind marrying. She'll see sense if it kills me. <laughs>